Hello and welcome to GPTV on Tuesday the 15th of October. My name is Philip Kingston. And I'm Adam Josky. And Adam, great to have you on GPTV standing in for Gary who is away yet again. Where is he this week? He's gone over to Western Australia to have a look at a number of agencies in Perth. We are constantly on the travel going from state to state and country to country looking at real estate agencies that we think are as good if not better than us so we can learn and then pinch all of their good ideas and implement them. But great to have you on camera Adam because you are a great one for professional development and learning. Uh, tell us about your latest in professional development. Uh, actually I was just thinking I'm actually due for a trip because I haven't been away for about three weeks but um, look I, I spent a lot of time travelling into state and just going to different conferences and and meeting top agents and sharing ideas and experiences. And you're a bit of a, you're on the speaker circuit yourself. I think you were just up recently on the Sunshine Coast yes. uh, speaking to uh, Amber Wershon, yep. who is a dynamic agency Amazing up there. Team. She asked you to come up and talk to her staff. So it's great that not only are we recognised as a great agency, uh, but people like Adam Josky are often asked to go into state and talk to other agencies. That's enough about you, Adam. Let's, let's talk, talk more about me. <laughs> That's right. Let's talk about the market because what a brilliant weekend we've had had uh, the industry clearance rate for the for the weekend was approximately 75 76 percent but again Adam sorry to boast but we've smashed it out of the park with a hundred percent clearance rate most importantly not only a hundred percent but out of a lot of stock <coughs> we had 12 sales from 12 auctions so a hundred percent for us Speaking of busy weeks, Adam, we've just finished our sales meeting and you listed five properties last week. Yeah, five auctions. Can I, just, can I just put that into perspective for people? Most people don't know what is typical for a real estate agent to sell or list in a month. Now, the average real estate agent in Australia lists and sells two properties a month. So putting that into perspective, Adam, five listings in one week, five auctions, you're certainly going to have a great October and November. Let's talk about some of the sales from the weekend. Uh, on Saturday, we auctioned a house in Alder Street. Amazing, amazing. Tell us about that because you looked after that with Gary and Joel. Yep. Incredible, nice story to that property yeah. too. Look, it's funny, it, it just shows you what the market's doing because we sold that house, I think it was right on six years ago. Um, yep. I think by memory we sold it before auction because we had one keen buyer and a couple of nibbles but not, not, a, lot of, uh, not a lot of meat there. Um, auction on this weekend, uh, we had five bidders. Uh, and we sold it just over 1.3, in fact, 1,301,000. And what did um, they pay for it six years uh, about ago? About mid-sevens. Mid-sevens. So the growth has been phenomenal. And they put a pool in and uh, a few minor improvements. But I think just the uh, just knowing we had five bidders this time versus one last time, it just showed the... So the there's, there's the a market. great story, I think, for the viewers. So they've put in a pool now. A pool, I had a look at that pool. It was a nice pool, yeah, but I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say... I, really? I yeah. would have thought that was more 50, 60, 70,000, but we can argue about that off camera. But if you think about that, uh, they lived in the house for six years. Uh, they didn't spend a lot, although they had it uh, set up beautifully. Mm. Uh, it's almost doubled in value. Uh, and certainly we talk about house prices in Melbourne doubling every 10 years. This one's almost double in six to seven years. Yeah. Uh, just to great story and that's in a hot spot just off Glen Huntley Road we're a great believer in all of those streets that come off Glen Huntley Road in South Caulfield uh, a great place to invest let's talk about what else we sold on the weekend I did an auction in Dandenong Road and that was an apartment at apartment number four at 316 Dandenong Road St Kilda East which we sold for $525,000. That was a well-contested auction. We also sold apartment number one at 641 Turak Road, Turak for 546,000. Mm. Now, Adam, Go figure. I want to talk about those two sales because we talked about them at length mm. in our sales meeting. And this is really interesting. Uh, two bedroom apartments in St Kilda East are making the same, if not more, than two bedroom apartments in Turak. And we talked about that being a, an interesting demographic study mm. because younger people that normally buy apartments uh, don't generally want to live in Turak. So we look at Turak as the most expensive suburb in Melbourne and yet it's really for people that are settling there and bringing up families or people that are retiring there mm. and you get some big prices there in Turak. But younger people, they want to live where the action is That's and the buzz right. is. So suburbs like St Kilda East and Paran and any of the inner suburbs are making more money or at the same money as two bedroom apartments mm. it's in Turak. It's demand and the demographic. Isn't correct, it? correct. Yeah. So a fascinating story. So let's talk about Sunday, Adam. Another amazing day, obviously 100%. 
uh, but we kicked it off in Oak Crescent. The price is undisclosed, but we had the most incredible auction can we there. we talk about it? We can talk about the fact that we had five bidders. We can talk about the funny part about the end of the auction where we had two bidders fighting for the last $100,000 for the house. Yeah, uh, and they were both buyers that knew each other and actually apologised to each other during the auction for bidding against each other. Uh, it was quite funny as an auctioneer witnessing the demise of a friendship because I cannot <laughs> imagine they are still friends. It's a very small community. You'd be amazed how often that happens where you know two people go to the auction, they realise they're related or close friends. And Yeah, yeah. well, when you think about it, there's not a lot of houses mm. for sale at any given right. point across a weekend. Uh, we moved on to really a, a property that I was excited to put to the market, and this was listed by Jeremy Rosens in our St Kilda office. Apartment num number one at 241A Kuyong Road. Mm. Now, once again, the price was undisclosed, but I can say publicly that we were quoting in excess of $1.8 million. Uh, sold well in excess of that. Uh, one of the best apartments, oh, Adam. Incredible. Did you have a look yeah, at that? Yeah, one nice. of the best apartments I think I've ever seen. And congratulations yeah. to the developer of that who has set a new benchmark of standard in Melbourne for that apartment. Uh, we had some other amazing sales. We sold a property, uh, Unit 3, number 19, Ashgrove. A good one bedroom apartment sold for $325,500. That was a great result. Another good result was <coughs> 201A uh, Bamber Road in Caulfield South, a brand new two story town residence, beautiful, uh, and that unfortunately is undisclosed, but we were quoting that in excess of $1.1 million. Uh, Fallon Street, a number 11 Fallon Street, handled by Sally Zellman and Darren Krongold, sold for $840,000 and number 34 Scott Street. Now we talked about this yeah, Adam in our sales right. meeting because we're talking about blocks of land now in South Caulfield about a million dollars being now the kind of benchmark mm. price. Uh, that one was sold for a million and 31 so really does say something about land in Caulfield South where we think it's clicked up by at least what 10 to, 15, 10 to 15 yeah, 10 to 15% right? yeah. uh, just in the last 12 months so pretty exciting stuff. So Adam, let's talk about this weekend's auctions. We've got a pretty busy weekend with 10 auctions. Tell me about what we've got on on Saturday. We're kicking off at 10.30 uh, is uh, apartment 22 at 6 Lansdowne Road in St Kilda East. Um, I don't know if you've seen it, there's a beautiful one bedroom, great floor plan uh, with a really good sized terrace. That should go really well. Quoting 370 to 410 at 11.30, what have we got? Uh, unit 10 at 310 Inkerman Street in St Kilda East. Uh, that's a uh, two bedroom apartment, very, very good size combined lounge dining. It's a real feature with this one, should go well also. And quoting 440 to 480,000. And then where are we? Uh, unit 14 at 498 North Road, which I think uh, by memory is at 12.30 on Saturday. Uh, that's more of a modern contemporary, huge terrace. Um, got a fair few um, really, really good apartments and units this weekend. And on Sunday, Adam, we kick off at 10.30 at number 24 Raphael Street, just off Inkerman Road in the heart of Caulfield North. Beautiful street. Uh, that is a wonderful two-storey, three-bedroom, two-bathroom townhouse. We've been quoting in the mid to high sevens, might top eight there. And then, of course, Adam, we <coughs> move on at 11.30 to this incredible house, number seven Cheeseman Avenue in Brighton East, just off Hawthorne Road. Tell me about this house. This is great. It's funny. I was looking at the photos the other day and thinking it's lovely, but um, you know, you walk in here and you really get a sense of the space that's here. A fantastic open plan living area, uh, up to four bedrooms or three bedrooms in study. And it's got a north facing back garden, which is just stunning. I'm really looking forward to auctioning mm. this house. Incredibly uh, private as well, the backyard. And we've had lots of numbers going through, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what the final result here is. We then move on to uh, Unit 2 at 8 Fairbank Road in Bentley, a property that we think is going to be somewhere in the early to mid fives. Uh, and then back to Scott Street, our famous Fabulous Scott Street, where this will be the fourth property that we've sold in really about the last month. That's number 61 Scott Street, uh, and uh, Sally and Darren are once again handling that. That's at 12.30. We then move on to a, a street that you love, Adam, number 18 Stone Street in Caulfield South. Uh, that is also at 12.30. Then a block of land right in the heart of the Golden Mile of Caulfield North at number 23, Testar Grove, Caulfield North. Beautiful street and a great spot. Fantastic spot, Adam, absolutely. And then finally at uh, 2.30, uh, town residence number one at 130 Balaclava Road, Caulfield North. That's been handled by Daniel Fisher, Sally Zellman, Darren Krongold. I'll be auctioning yeah, that. in the office. Yeah, that's right. And uh, a really good property right, obviously, in the heart of the Golden Mile. Well, Adam, that was the week that was another busy spring selling week in Melbourne but this week's going to be a really exciting week at Gary Pure and Associates because the viewers might
might not know, but this week is the Real Estate Institute of Victoria Awards for Excellence, a huge night that will be held at the Crown Casino in the big Palladium Ballroom, yeah. where we've been, we've had a couple of tables there for a number of years because you've been a regular entrant in those awards. Always, always a bridesmaid. You've been a bridesmaid for a couple of awards, but you've been, uh, you're in the category this year again for... Uh, salesperson of the Year, residential Salesperson of the Year. And you've been the runner-up for the last two years yes. in a row, so hopefully yes. you're going to pip uh, the, the winner and uh, of last year and win this year, because uh, certainly you're a worthy winner. But at Gary Peer and Associates, we've never gone into those awards, but this year we decided, you know what, let's give it a go. So we <coughs> entered into eight categories, and lo and behold, we became the finalists in not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, but eight categories that we entered to. We are the finalist in each of those categories. I'm just going to mention those categories. We're a finalist in the Communications Award, the Innovation Award, the Large Residential Agency of the Year Award, the Corporate Promotion Awards with multiple offices, the Website of the Year Award, the Residential Marketing Award with a budget over $10,000, the Residential Salesperson of the Year, which is you, Adam, and also Residential Salesperson of the Year uh, for a Principals Award, which is Jeremy Rosen. So what an amazing Thursday night that's going to be. <laughs> Having said that, you'd reckon if we're in eight categories, we'll win a category or two. Having said you that, would hope I, so. you'd hope so, wouldn't you? I said this to somebody uh, a couple of weeks ago and they said, oh, I know an agency that got uh, into a finalist in six categories a couple of years ago and didn't win anything. So, Well, it's funny. Someone said to me, it's just, enough. It's just good enough being nominated. No, no it's not. <laughs> Well, if we don't win anything, that's the line we're going to go with. That's that right. it was just a pleasure that's and right. a privilege to be a finalist. Having said that, who knows? Stay tuned next week. We will announce whether we won one, two, three, or all the way up. Did we win eight or did we win nothing? nothing? Either we, way, we're going to have a big night. Anyway, just as long as you enter, you're a winner. That's, that's right. the line we're going to go that's with. Right. That's a big week in GPTV. Thank you very much again for watching. I'm Philip Kingston. And I'm Adam Josky. Have a fantastic week.